so let's start with the solution so first of all what we will do is that if you remove this roller support at point a so you will be having a reaction force which is r a and similarly if you remove this pin support at point c so you will be having a reaction force which will be equal to r c so we'll find this r a and r c by using equation of equilibrium so first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all moment about point c is equal to zero so about point c this force is passing through r c so it is not producing moment so starting from a the first force that is producing moment is r a and perpendicular distance is 30 and this is producing clockwise moment so i will take it negative so minus r a into 30 the second moment that is produced due to this p load and perpendicular distance from this point load to c is 20 so it is producing counterclockwise moment so it will be positive so i can write it as plus p into 20 and the last moment that is produced by this force and perpendicular distance is 6 and this is producing clockwise moment so it will be negative so we can write it as minus p multiply by 6 is equal to 0 so minus 30 r a plus 20 p minus 6 p is equal to 0 and from here minus 30 r a plus 14 p is equal to 0 so r a 30 r a is equal to 14 times p and r a will be equal to 14 divided by 30 p and from here what we will get is that r a will be equal to 0 0.46667 p since it is positive so it this force will be upward now we'll find this r c by using equation of equilibrium and the, what will be the equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive so r a which is upward and that is 0 0.46667 seven time p minus this p and this p so minus p minus p plus this r c which is upward is equal to zero so we can write it as this when you calculate you will get this rc will be equal to 1.5 triple 3 times p this is also positive so our assumed directions are correct